Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna check out another product from Jeremy Cook, which is JC Micro. If you ever seen my previous video, this is the thing that he created. Uh, yeah, he created this new case for the Raspberry Pi called the Pi Protect. So let's get started. So a buddy of mine named Jeremy Cook, uh, he's actually the original inventor of this JC MicroPad 2, which I reviewed on this channel before. He's in some sort of creative mood where he now created a Raspberry Pi case for help with uh, the GPIO pins as well as a little breadboard on the bottom. I'll leave all the links down in the description below, but yeah, this is a pretty interesting case that he put together. I've seen something similar to this before. What it does is basically gives you a guide of what the GPIOs are. So for those of you who are using the GPIO pins a lot, this kind of gives you help as well as a little breadboard that over here, if you want to solder something directly onto the breadboard. Now, if you don't want to use something with the breadboard, he does have another one where where it's completely blank. But mainly this is to aid with not only the breadboard, also allows you to attach a fan, and it also leaves all the openings, both the slots for the cameras. This is particularly only made for the Raspberry Pi 4, so if you got a Raspberry Pi 3, this might not fit. Ultimately, this is a tiny little case for this guy using two PCB boards. Anyway, let's jump into the unboxing and assembly of this guy to see how hard it is to put together. Okay, so part of the kit you get is uh, this right here, which I'm just gonna pour out. And I thought it was really cool on how he came out with the little tool. So there are three pieces to this. One is this one where you get all the actual writings of... So what I do like is that the top, you actually have the GPIO pin layout, and then the bottom, you actually get your own little breadboard where you could solder um, stuff that you want onto it. The clear one, where it doesn't have any spaces on the bottom, you still get the GPIO pin layout, and the same as the other one, just missing the bottom portion. And then this is the back plate, or the bottom plate. Now, it also includes a fan with screws that you want to install, and this is an additional piece that you could purchase from him, because he's actually the original creator of this, uh, you could say a fan controller. Oh, you know what, you can't even see that. Uh, this little thing, which is a fan controller, and what I liked the most out of this whole kit is this little thing that he laser cut. Uh, I'll show you in a second. It's just clear and it's got spacers, but he printed a little, I mean, a, he cut out a little acrylic tool for this. So anyway, let's assemble this guy together. So first, I'm gonna move this all out of the way. We have the bottom plate. So there's two sides to it. It doesn't matter which side you use, it's just the bottom plate. Now, it doesn't fit perfectly perfectly on there. That's why he created these spacers. So first thing I'm going to do is actually just pop out all these spacers. And I'm just using my screwdriver to, you know, click it and pop it through. There should be nine of them. You really just need to use eight, but there's one extra. And since he has the room to laser cut it, why not? Right? So I'm just basically popping them out. I'm just pushing them through. All right. And there we have it. All right, all the acrylic pieces are here. Uh, I actually have an extra kit if I need it, but there should be nine of them and a little tool. So we're gonna place this board on the bottom, slap this, slap the eight pieces down here. This is the tricky part, basically. Uh, we gotta get the screws through so there's two sets of screws one is eight millimeter the other one is about six millimeter uh we're gonna need to use four eight millimeters to punch this through man this is gonna be tricky i don't even know how i'm gonna do this that's three and the last one slap that on top there you go and now he's got these hex bolts that you can just screw in on top. Oh, this one's a little bit hard, the one by the ethernet card. Now you could take his tool, his little tiny hexagon tool, hold it into place. If I could push it down on hand, I'd rather do that, but his hexagon tool is pretty good. So yeah, once you get all four of those down, it'll look like that. The bottom is on point, the top is more like that. 
Then you get to choose between if you want to use the breadboard version or the non-breadboard version. I'm going to use the breadboard version and you could slap everything on there and that's it. Now if you want to put the fan on, depending on your use case scenario, because these raspberries probably don't really need a fan, but does help to keep things cool. This is where you would install the fan on top and you want the direction to kind of push towards the GPU, I mean the CPU. So I'm gonna slap the screws in. I'm just gonna hand, you know, loosely put all the screws in and then I'll tighten it in a sec. Now here's the thing, you gotta use only, even though it came with four, you only could use three. The screws itself are a little bit extended for what it is. So there's three screws here. If you install the last screw right at the end, right over there, it's actually going to hit the Wi-Fi card. I mean, you just want to install the three. So now I'm just going to tighten everything up. Again, you could use the tool and kind of slide the thing in to make it tight, but it's not always needed. Once that is in, the six millimeter screws can be screwed in from top. I'm just gonna hand screw them in for now and get that in. All right, and that is it. And because I know where the GPIO is, I could just hook up the fan pretty easily. So I'm just gonna pop this uh, ground right here. Now you could add the little feet that he gave you. I'm just gonna leave it without it. I like the smooth surface. Um, it doesn't really bother me because I'm not going to slide it around much, but ultimately we have everything all set. Well, that is it for me guys. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Again, I'll leave all the links down in the description below to where you could get this. I'm going to be keeping this on one of my Raspberry Pis because I do like the fact that I can see all my GPIO pins. Jeremy also does have a Discord, which I'll leave a link down in the description below. So if you want to directly hang out in his chat, by all means. Now, if you guys are new to his channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.